What's up YouTube? In today's video I'm going to be making the infamous kelebab. If you're wondering what a kelebab is, it is a kebab recipe that has become famous on the internet and in barbecue circles. So the idea is you build a, a spit of marinated chicken uh, that you can cook on a rotisserie either vertically or horizontally. I've got a vertical spit that I bought off Amazon. I'll put a link below and you can fit about one point something kilos. So enough for four people, I'd say maybe five. Six at a push depending if you're serving the kebab with sides. So first of all, you combine the marinade ingredients. Now for best results, marinade overnight or minimum two hours. I'm making this around 10 a.m. this morning, so it'll have most of the day to marinate, and I'm gonna cook it tonight. So in a bowl, you combine olive oil, tomato puree, thyme, salt and pepper, onion powder, we've got some cumin in there, and you mix it all together, <clears throat> and crushed garlic, if I didn't mention that just now, Oh, and the zest and juice of two lemons. Make sure if you get it waxed. Well, I'd, personally, I'd avoid getting waxed lemons uh, just by unwaxed, because otherwise you're going to have to take the wax off. You can do it. Just boil a kettle, submerge the um, lemons, and you'll see the slick forming on the top as the wax melts. Um, but I just find it softens up the skin and makes it harder to grate. So get unwaxed lemons if you can. Um, I've uh, zested it, got the juice. I actually put three lemons in because my lemons were a little smaller from Aldi this week. So I'm gonna mix it up with a little whisk and then I'm gonna combine with the chicken thighs. I've gone with a kilo of skinless boneless thighs from Aldi and that should feed yeah, like I could say about five, five people. Certainly, if I'm feeling really greedy, it might not see the uh, end of the day. So I'm going to put the camera down and get whisking. So this is the kind of colour and consistency you're looking for. It gets its deep, sort of ready browny colour largely from the tomato puree. Now don't be afraid about the eight tablespoons of olive oil that are in there as that will not make it in its entirety in your final dish. So I'm just going to finish mixing that up. I forgot to mention there's also half a teaspoon of allspice berry. I use the mortar and pestle and crush that up. So, as you can see, it's quite a thickish kind of marinade. Time to get the chicken in. So what I tend to do is I'll always have one hand free for doing dirty work and the other hand relatively clean in case I need to grab stuff, etc. Especially when you're handling raw uh, meat like chicken and the like and such you do not want to get food poisoning with that so it's going to give it a good mix till all sides of the chicken are coated make sure you open up the fillet fillets, thighs, sorry, to ensure you get an as even as you can coating. So I'm just going to finish this up, I'm going to put it on, put some uh, wrap it, wrap it, I'm going to cover a bowl of cling film and get it in the fridge. So we've been marinating for the afternoon just coming up to quarter four so I've took the chicken out of the fridge I'm going to 
get ready to build the spit. Well, it's kind of like a spit. <laughs> it doesn't actually move anywhere whilst it's in the oven. So you just thread it through the middle of the fillet and you put a piece from north to south, the next one east to west, and then diagonally across there and repeat. So it creates like an even stack. Uh, with a key though, it's, um, it's not going to reach the top of the spike. I think you could probably just about get 1.8 kilo from memory. But we'll see once we've stacked it how accurate I am. So you've got a sense of what the first layer looks like once you've stacked it up. So I've put the, the spike, kebab spike, just in a baking tray and just sort of easily transport it to and from the oven. The oven is preheating at the minute to 180 degrees. So I'm just going to do the second layer. I should imagine a couple of layers only marinated chicken and wait for the oven to get to temp and then I'm going to get my bird out get that set up to 165 Fahrenheit which is my preferred cooking temperature for chicken 165 stay alive as they say it's a good mantra to have, especially with dealing with chicken. So that's it. A kilo of marinated chicken thigh is on. And we've still got a little under half to go. So probably 1.8 kilos, uh, which is the actual recipe's worth would fit. Now I did do the full marinade, <laughs> forgot to half it. Um, I don't think it matters too much. Uh, I just need to get an onion sliced in half, I'm going to pop that on top and get the thermometer set up and we're ready to go in. And we've got the onion on, <laughs> looks a bit lost on there doesn't it? Uh, I've got the thermometer probe running parallel to the spike as best I can. This will give a, a reading that isn't going to be interfered with by the spike. So just bear that in mind. Probe, place, uh, probe placement is everything. So the one's just come to temp. So I'm going to... Uh, get her in probably takes about an hour to an hour and 20 minutes something around that ballpark and um, once it's done I'm gonna pull it out to rest for 10 minutes whilst I get my naan bread and salad all prepped so she's in 180 temperature reader here. I'm going to go inside the, oh. <laughs> inside the app now, get it set to 165 Fahrenheit. So whilst the chicken is cooking away, I prepped the accompaniment salad. Got some great carrot, got some jalapeno, those ubiquitous chilies that you get in kebabs in certain parts of the world got some red cabbage as well some cucumber sticks some baby tomatoes red onion and just squeeze a little bit of lime juice on <clears throat> i'm going to go with encona <clears throat> chili sauce i'm going to just try a little bit before I go lathering it on because I do like it hot um, just to make sure it doesn't 
uh, ruin the dish, ruin the kebab, and some garlic sauce. <clears throat> I usually make my own, but I can pick this up for a quid from the local shop and it'll do nicely. Turkey style garlic sauce. So we're about 40 minutes in and we're 109 degrees. I'm just going to show you how we're looking. That's Fahrenheit by the way. Let's wait for that to demist. There we go. Looking good. Kind of glad I put it on a tray. Well, obviously makes sense because I'm not too sure I'll be able to carry it uh, without one. Anyway, better shut that, not lose any heat. <clears throat> so I reckon it'll be done in about another 20 minutes, half an hour. And then I'm going to pop it here to cool for 10 minutes before I slice it up. And I need to get my naan breads ready. Speaking of naan breads, Pick these up from Tesco. They're quite a decent size. That's sort of the span width, and they're about I don't know, 30 centimeters long, something like that. You've got good area to put all your meat and toppings on, and they're quite nice, nicer than just the small standard ones that like you get from uh, Little or Aldi. Uh, I have made naan breads before myself, um, and maybe in a future video I'll I'll show you me show you me I'll show you making that show <laughs> I will make it and I'll post a video for you guys. Um, just wanted to take a moment, um, please if you do if you enjoy the video please give it a like. Uh, if you've not yet subscribed please do so and hit that bell for notifications it really helps uh, me grow the channel which uh, got 226 subs at the minute be nice to get to 500 get that magic milestone of 1000 um, I'm going to try and start putting out more content for you guys uh, one of the videos I might do is on this new chopping board I got for my birthday it's an absolute Perla, absolute war horse of a chopping board and um, but got that for my birthday from a company called Tog. Uh, they're an English firm that specialise in Japanese knives. They've got a uh, chopping board range that I highly recommend and they're really good. Uh, again, I'll put a link below and uh, yeah, I'll do a video some time uh, of the product itself. Just over an hour and 20 minutes and the kebab is done. Dummy naan bread. I'm just going to chop the ends off to give it to my... <laughs> Hello! <coughs> yeah, let's just wait for... Just... Yeah, in a minute. I just waited for the others to come back. We are. Tommy! Woo! <laughs> Yeah, the breads are in. Happy days. So I've chopped the chicken on the stick. I've got my salad ready. I'm going to do an open kebab. Add all my uh, bits and pieces on top, sauces. And uh, the young Emily is going to have some. We've got some salad here. Let's load it up. Whoop whoop. So just building my layers up. Got some onion on there. Next, we're going with carrot. Got some diced cucumber. Got some tommies on there. Got jalapenos on. Pickled cabbage. Loaded up the kebab meat. That's it. Get the sauces on. And Kona on. Finished with some garlic mayo. Bon appetit! What can I say guys? This is super super tasty. Absolute winner recipe. All the accompaniments work. 
in unison that Kona sauce is seriously hot so if you do use that go sparingly see you in the next video ciao